Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Wednesday, the 25th of August 2021. So yesterday, short squeeze surge sends stocks to record high as soft data slumps to 14-month lows. So well done, Mr. Powell. We see what you've uh, created. And there's a lot of rumours uh, around as well that uh, they're going to taper sooner rather than later as well. But uh, we've got the uh, Jackson Hole Symposium, haven't we, this weekend. Let's just have a, a quick look. I'm sure that that's uh, this week. Unless I've... Uh, yeah, there we go. I knew I'd seen it. Uh, that actually starts uh, Friday, uh, looking at that. So it'll be interesting to see if he has got anything to, to say. Actually, Thursday it starts. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what uh, he's got to say. Uh, there's no major news today, just uh, these three. Uh, European Business Info Climate core durable goods orders and uh, crude oil inventories. Uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, let me just grab this for you as well. I forgot to add it into the chart. Uh, there we go. We've got the implied volatility. You can see that we've been dropping down for the last uh, few days. And uh, again, that's indicative of the time of the year, to be honest with you, because we're heading into the uh, August bank holiday weekend. The, mar uh, the market the week before generally is uh, fairly quiet. Uh, while I'm thinking about it as well, I am away next week. Uh, so it'll be bound to kick off, but um, I'm hoping to uh, still continue to record. But I'll let you know uh, later on in the week on that one, uh, because uh, I like to keep... Uh, up with uh, things uh, even though uh, I am away I uh, can't uh, leave things alone as it were uh, so yeah let's uh, move on and have a look at uh, the Dow or the DAX we'll start off with the Dow then uh, we can see how quiet it is this is the August effect uh, yesterday the markets actually moved more on the overnight than it moved during uh, yesterday's session as well which is uh, interesting like I said, I'm not going to labour anything today. You can see how quiet it was yesterday in the 30-minute chart. It was just sideways, up and down, up and down. And eventually you've got uh, the retracement and then the market uh, moving up there. But down on the overnight uh, below the DP for the Dow, just coming back above uh, yesterday's uh, low there for the Dow. And in the DAX, uh, similar picture, uh, quiet. Uh, you can see here the market uh, Tiny bar yesterday inside of the range, uh, also inside of the range at the moment on the overnight as well. But uh, again, you've still got your, your highs up here ready for, uh, like I say, you've got the, the August effect and the uh, Jackson Hole Symposium market waiting for Powell. And in the 30 minute DAX, again, you can see how range bound this is. And don't forget that, uh, you know, between this blue line and this red line is 50 points. So you can see how quiet it was uh, yesterday. And in the metals, uh, an interesting picture. I think you're going to get slammed again. Uh, now we've traded up to the 89% retracement. Well, actually, it was a double top to, to the left there. Just go through the 89. Um, hopefully, it won't, and we'll start to see prices moving to the upside. But I can't help thinking that uh, they're going to use any opportunity to actually slam this. And with what's going on in Afghanistan still, there could be a flight to... Like I say, the laughable quality of the US dollar. And again, that will put pressure on uh, the metals. Yesterday, they tried their best. Uh, you can see there, we had the two slams in the five minute chart. We get uh, as the market kicks off at 1.30 for the COMEX, and then we had the 2.30. But they managed to uh, bring this one back, which I was very surprised to see, I have to say. Uh, but then again, you can see them uh, bringing it back immediately in this five minute bar as we see the buying as we did over here. So hopefully that's set a precedent that uh, shakeouts now are buying opportunities, which is what I've been looking for for some time. You can see the market moving up after another one there. It's a very light bar, but you can see how above the average uh, it is there. In the gold market, this uh, quite a, a drop overnight uh, for the gold market, but still sitting on the five bar moving average there and bouncing off this as well. And the US dollar is to keep your eyes peeled on this one because uh, this uh, showing some support yesterday. There's some more or less buying pressure coming into the market, uh, as you'll see here uh, with the volume more or less 90% of the previous day and the range of the bar far less. So there's a bit of absorption of volume there at the 62% retracement, which means we could see a move back to the upside from there to there. And there would be the 
uh, retracement uh, targets uh, for this. This one will be coming off the book shortly as well. This is the September contract. That's denoted by the U in the symbol. For those of you that have been trading uh, for a long time, we'll know that futures contracts are denote or the futures contract month is denoted by a symbol. September is U, and uh, this uh, will be uh, replaced shortly by the Z co contract, which is the December code for all futures uh, markets. Okay, a quick look at yesterday's activity. Like I say, there's not a lot to report, uh, but uh, some interesting things. Uh, uh, worth highlighting the market moved higher as the futures kicked uh, open and then were slammed as you can see there heavily slammed back to the 200 ma and then the market traded sideways as uh, the market got ready for the opening of the cash market so they managed to bring the market back up and then uh, you'll see this also was uh, slammed to the downside and as prices got down to the 200 ma uh, this is exactly what we saw in Tuesday's, no, Monday's market alert. It is Wednesday today, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, in Monday's market alerts, where they moved the market lower down to the 200 MA and then they stopped and they brought the market back. So, on that basis, uh, uh, out of the trade, didn't even mark it back up because watch what happens. We then, whoops, hang on, just cancel that. We then see them bring the market straight back and look at the volume as it grows here as uh, they reverse uh, the position there and the market back uh, 62 percent lots of buying and then the market uh, trades sideways but what's interesting when you get this sort of activity and action watch the 20 bar moving average as prices uh, come back uh, you'll see there we've got some additional selling and the market fails to actually close above the 20 bar moving average and uh, retesting to the downside there but again you see them buying back here as uh, they attempt to bring prices back but a very very narrow range again just trading between uh, fib lines there that uh, i drew on the chart we did have a potential buy this wasn't filled we then had a sell which was you can see this uh, moving lower as uh, the market then finds some resistance with the 200 ma but uh, they're trying to hold it uh, here already you can see again the volume is more or less the same as the previous bar but the range is less and uh, I wasn't too hopeful about this, but it did uh, manage to move uh, slightly lower. We saw uh, the market trying to attempt uh, a move to the downside. But again, we see more buying coming into the market here. Uh, volume is far greater than the previous bars volume and the range less and price is coming off the uh, low of this bar as well. And at this point, it was a case of uh, let's get out market wasn't doing anything it then came down uh, as you can see here retested the low here and then uh, reversed off this and uh, started to uh, just get stuck into a sideways range it came back 62 percent of the morning's range and then that was it it just got stuck like i say when you look at the daily chart very very quiet but it's to be expected this time of the year as a lot of people have managed to get away even if it's just in the uk so the afternoon is a, is straight out of the playbook from uh, monday as well as the uh, dow did this on monday and the dax uh, it did so again uh, yesterday afternoon you can see the market just trading above the five bar moving average the momentum all the way on the upside there until it ran out of steam and then uh, came back and again you've got a retest of the, uh, the high there uh, before prices uh, just uh, drifted and uh, attempted to move back to the upside and that's more or less uh, what it did like i say it wasn't an exciting day by any uh, by any means but uh, like i say it's the week before the bank holiday weekend when uh, this normally happens and you've got three days of uh, pal speaking as well okay let's uh, see if we get a bit more action i uh, certainly got more overnight than we had during yesterday so hopefully that's uh, a good uh, omen as ever thanks for watching see you in the next <laughs>